Hello, well welcome to this rather strange video and uh, it's a bit strange because well let me show you my surroundings yes yeah, so I'm in hospital for my nerve root injections and uh, I had to be here at 7 a.m. what time is it now it's nearly half nine and um, I'm going in for my procedure probably around midday so yeah I've just got to sit and wait and maybe lay and wait be taken off to theatre so I thought I'd make a little video and uh, see what happens I don't know whether I'll show my progress after or what I'll do but yeah I thought I'd document it so I'm nil by mouth so I haven't eaten since eight o'clock last night ish which is a bit annoying because I'm quite hungry but yeah, I've just got to uh, wait here. And I've also got to get changed. This isn't theatre attire, apparently. So I've got a gown and some very sexy socks to put on. So I might do that in a moment. But yeah, it's kind of nice having my own room. It's very quiet. I'm not allowed anyone on the ward with me. Um, so yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit strange. But hopefully the time will fly. I've got my iPad with me. So I'm just watching stuff on YouTube and Netflix, keeping myself entertained. And, uh, well, I'll try and film a few bits and bobs. But I think I'm quite apprehensive. I've never had anything like this done before. So I guess it's a not knowing. I'm going to be mildly sedated. You see, it's apparently like you feel like you're drunk. So, bonus. <laughs> yeah, I just hope it helps. Really hope it helps, because I'm really struggling. Anyway, let's uh, get changed. There we go. I look ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know if it's a pants on or pants off job. I don't really know if I've got this on right. She just said it ties at the back. I assume I've done it right. I hope I've done it right. Anyway, let's go have a lie down. Six hours later. So it's all done. I'm a bit sleepy and I've got to eat and drink. I think it all went okay. Mm. Yeah. Back in a bit. Well, look at this. I'm now home. I'm a little bit tired. Actually, quite a lot tired. Very achy. Um, but I'm home. I think what probably best to do is I'll come back in a couple of seconds and it'll be tomorrow for me and uh, I'll tell you all about how it went and everything but I feel better I think I don't know we'll see how tomorrow goes hello well it is the following day and I'm feeling a lot more human <laughs> I haven't watched back what I recorded yesterday so um, it might be absolutely terrible I don't know but I'm definitely feeling better. Now the pain hasn't completely gone. It's still very much there, but it's just been dialed down a fair bit. So I've been able to sort of get up and move and just be a bit more normal, I guess. And it's really nice. Like I don't make a sound when I stand up now. <laughs> and I'm, I'm feeling a bit more I don't know, useful, I guess. But I didn't really tell you much about what went on yesterday, largely because I was a bit out of it. So, uh, yeah, basically, I saw the consultant and the uh, anaesthetic, no, anaesthetic, and the guy who does the anaesthetic, uh, sort of almost as soon as I was in the hospital. And then I had about six hours of waiting and that was a bit rubbish 
because no one else was allowed on the ward apart from patients and the staff. So I couldn't have anyone sitting with me. So I'm glad I have my iPad and I watched a lot of episodes of The Office in six hours. Um, yeah, and I was just getting more and more wound up and because I hadn't eaten and hadn't drunk anything really. I was getting a really banging headache. And then, yeah, they sort of came in and I had to walk to the operating theatre, which was only a door down, thankfully, and then sort of get on the bed on all fours and lay down, face down, ass up. And um, yeah, it's, it's all a bit of a blur, really. I remember them putting the cannula in and taking and putting the blood pressure monitor on me. And that's about all I remember. And yeah, I didn't feel any pain. I didn't feel like I was being injected with anything. I just felt, I don't know, the anesthetic, anesthetic bloke, um, he said that you it's a bit like you drunk too much and you don't really remember what's gone on. And it really is. Um, but yeah, so after that, I went back to my room and sort of woke up slowly. I was given a cheese sandwich and a cup of tea, which tasted like the best cup of tea I've ever had. I don't think it was, um, but it, it was, it was good to finally have something other than water. And yeah, they just kept an eye on me for an hour or two. Kept on taking my blood pressure and my heart rate and my temperature. And all I had to do basically to prove that I was ready to go was to get up, wander around, get dressed and have a wee. They're very interested. I've never known anyone be so interested in me going for a wee. Um, and that was it. Vicky came to pick me up about six o'clock-ish. And I came home. And afterwards, I just sort of felt sore, numb and a bit dazed and confused. But, yeah, today I'm feeling better. I really am. And it's nice. And actually, I went out with Vicky to walk Dougie for a little bit. Um, I could only make it round the corner and back but that was really nice because I've not been able to do it for ages Vicky's just been doing walking duty on her own and I really like going out for walks with Dougie and Vicky so it was nice to do something normal and I've even put a load of washing on and that's made me happy so yeah I've got to relax today and not do too much. James is coming over tonight so that's going to be lovely but I can't drive to pick him up because of the anaesthetic. I'm not allowed to drive or drink for 24 or 48 hours so we're going to have a bit of a chill weekend with him um, but he's cool with that. He's a good guy. So yeah I don't know quite how it's going to pan out. I'm told that the pain will lessen over time so hopefully you know come next week I might be feeling a bit more like myself but even just in this last I don't know 24 hour period I'm just feeling a lot better and it's nice it really is and just to sort of be able to move around the house without it causing me so much pain is really good so it's a start I don't know whether I'll need to go back for more injections I don't know whether I'll need surgery going forwards but at this point in time I don't really mind um, because ultimately one way or another I'm going to get there and just to be out of pain for however long is good well actually just to have you know less pain is good because I honestly couldn't go on the way I was. I don't, if I had, if I didn't have the injections when I did, I don't know where I'd be 
in a week or two's time. I really don't. It was just dragging me really down. But yeah, I'm going to have a quiet weekend, do very little and see where I am on Monday. So yeah, might be some more videos next week. I don't actually have all that much content to film. <laughs> So you know, if any if any companies watching this want to send me some stuff to unbox and make videos about that's relatively uh, not strenuous, then that'd be lovely. So yeah, thank you everyone for all your kind messages and checking in and making sure I'm okay. I'm not a hundred percent, but I'm definitely better than I was. Um, mm, it's good. It's really good. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy my content, then please do make sure you subscribe to the channel. I think I'm nearly at 9,300 subscribers now. Slowly making my way to 10,000, so that's awesome. And make sure you like this video mm. and uh, also give it a comment as well because that all helps the Facebook, not Facebook, the YouTube gods smile down on me. So yeah, I know this has been a bit of a weird vlog, but hopefully you've enjoyed it one way or another. And if you haven't, then come back soon. There'll be better content, I promise. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching, but for now, it's game over.